Hello, this is Peter, Roman King Homestead. Today's Tuesday. It was sunny today, and we a high of 90. My chicks are one week old today, and they're all doing very well. As you can see later on in the some of the later clips, some of them are getting pretty well feathered in on the wings now. They're all growing. I had to raise the heat plate up a little bit because it was getting kind of difficult for them to get under it. So I raised that up a little bit yesterday. The title of this video is, Was It Too Hot to Ship Chicks? And the answer to that is absolutely not. I had a couple of subscribers that thought it was too hot to ship the chicks. Well, a um, newly hacked chick should be at approximately 95 degrees. The warmest that it was at any point during their trip was in low to mid 80s. They left the hatchery in the evening last Tuesday and they were taken to North Houston, Texas where they spent the night and the following day in a warehouse there. Then Wednesday night they were shipped from North Houston, Texas to Little Rock, Arkansas. And then Thursday morning, they were brought to the Gravely Post Office. At no point during that trip were they exposed to extremely high temperatures. And all 15 of them arrived alive and healthy. The chicks will remain inside for a couple more weeks. Although I am going to have to split them up into different totes because they're already becoming too crowded in this one. But I only have the one heat plate at this time. So I want to keep them in here for a little bit longer. And then I'll be putting them in one or two more totes. So they'll have a little more room. And then... At probably three or four weeks, then I'll be able to put them outside in a brooder box. By that point, they should be old enough. So even if we do start having some chilly nights, because I know it won't be getting terribly cold, but if it does get a little bit cooler, they should be okay at that point. But of course... I will keep track of the weather, and if it is too cold for them, then I'll make adjustments for that. For the first few weeks, chicks are quite delicate, and you have to um, really keep the temperature in mind. These aren't the first chicks that I've raised, so I think they'll do fine. I do want to apologize for the mess in the brooder. I should have cleaned that before I filmed this. But I filmed it first. And then I then watered them and cleaned the brooder. So I guess that was kind of the wrong way to do it. Next year, I'll have Bard Rock, Black Astralorps, Buff Orpington, and Easter Eggers to breed. My existing chickens and these chicks will be combined next year. There will be several flocks of them. And I'll go into more detail in the future when the time gets closer on how I'm going to be having them divided up. I'll let you watch baby chicks for the rest of the video.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please like my video and please continue watching. That's it for today. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Have a good one.